What's going on guys? Uh, Matt Duzeranski with MidwestGears.com and we are coming to you guys from Coffee Mill which is, I don't even know where it's located technically. Wapsha. Kind of like Winona area, southeast Minnesota I suppose. Uh, how far is it from the Twin Cities? Or Well it was uh, supposed to be an hour and a half drive for me today. It turned into two. Yeah we have, obviously you can see you've got some snow conditions the here. City, so. Yeah, we got, I think we got a couple of inches on the ground already and uh, I think it's supposed to continue so we'll see what we get. For those that haven't been to Coffee Mill, there's <laughs> just a lot of cool terrain here. We were talking about earlier, like, what could you compare this place to? And I'm like, I don't know that you can, because I think it's kind of its own little yeah. place. And I think that's kind of true with almost every Midwest ski hill, but this is definitely something unique, and I would definitely recommend everyone at least come experience it once. I know it might not be for everybody, but those that come here and really enjoy it, they really tend to enjoy it. Well, we got some powder to rip off. Should we go shred it? I guess. Let's go. Oh, shoot. Are you an expert? Uh, it says experts only. Shoot! <laughs> I'm here with Nick, and Nick actually does a lot of our editing work. Uh, he actually edits this vlog, which is gonna be weird because you're gonna have to edit yourself on this one. It's always an enjoyable process. <laughs> The reason I actually wanted to grab you on camera because this is your first time at Coffee Mill. Jack and I have both been here before. Yep. And uh, what was your initial reaction? Well, uh, my initial reaction is I really like kind of just the earthy like quality of it. Like it just has so much character and it's it's really not like any place I've ever been before. So I really like the vibe. The terrain seems really cool and you can't beat, you know, getting to ski while it's actively snowing. beer in my brat, but she asked if I wanted ketchup. I didn't take it that personally. I see Matthew got ketchup. I'm trying not to judge him too much, but this is a coffee mill special. We can't get much better than that. A brat and a beer for six bucks at a ski beer. resort. I guess the bun is super homemade. So yeah, like eventually yeah. if the, the moisture from the crowd drifts down to the bottom of the bun, you always gotta scrape the bottom of the bun off. It just comes off right with your finger and then eat it like a sandwich. It's perfect. <laughs> here with Jack and Jack you actually you work at the hill right yeah yep, what do you actually time. do here well I, I do assortment things for one blow snow uh -huh. manager of the train park and also co-manager of the rental shop so so everything everything and for somebody that's never been here I mean how would you describe coffee miller what do you think makes it a little bit different than some of the other resorts in the area it's in a valley you really can't see it from anywhere else and it's just a a, a, a hidden gem a, a lot of people like to call it yeah, and I mean, you guys keep things so basic. It's like an inexpensive way to get out and enjoy winter. I mean, like you go get the beer and brat special for six bucks. I mean, there's right. no ski resorts you can do right, that anymore. Right. And our, our lift tickets are half the price of any other ski resorts around. So it's it's kind of a best of both worlds. Should we go hit it? Sure. Let's go. Yeah. Thanks for joining us today guys in our journey to the coffee mill if you want to learn more i'll be sure to drop some links below but until next time i hope all of you guys have a great week pray for snow and i'll see you guys out there